Syntaxe in Course 2, Lesson 99 is on the Pythagorean Theorem. So if we were to take this triangle and copy, draw a square on each side, it wanted us to find the area of each square and then find the side of C. So you would draw a square on each side that has the same length as the length of the side of the triangle. And we were given the lengths of the two shorter side. So the, Pythag the Pythagorean theorem says that the sum of the areas of the smaller squares equals the area of the larger square. So 36 centimeters plus 64 centimeters would equal 100 centimeters. So C squared, C squared would equal 100 centimeters. Okay. Now, that means that the, each side of the largest square must be 10 centimeters long because 10 centimeters squared equals 100 centimeters. So side C has to equal 10 centimeters. So the Pythagorean theorem says that the side A squared plus the side B squared equals the side C squared. So on this one, you can see that with the squares, okay, and how it's drawn. So if I were to put numbers in here, let's say I had if side A equals equaled 3 and if side B equaled 4 and I wanted to know what side e C would equal, I would put it into this equation. So it would be 3 squared plus 4 squared equals C squared. Okay, So 3 squared is 9 plus 4 squared is 16 equals c squared. Okay, so 9 plus 16 is equal to 25 equals c squared. Now to get rid of this square, I would have to take the square root of both sides. Remember the square root cancels out a squared. So then I'd have c equals the square root of 25, which is equal to 5. So on this one, the lengths of three triangles are given. Which triangle is a right triangle? So first, I need to find, to square the lengths of each side, and I need to look for the Pythagorean relationship. Because the Pythagorean theorem only works with right triangles. So for A, I have 4 squared plus 5 squared. And if it's a right triangle, that would equal 6 squared. So 4 squared is 16 plus 5 squared is 25, and 6 squared is 36. Well, 16 plus 25 is not equal to 36, so A is not a right triangle. Okay, now we'll try B. So B would be 7 squared plus 7 squared would have to equal 10 squared. Well, 7 squared is 49 plus 49, would have to equal 100. Well, 49 plus 49 is not equal to 100, so it can't be B. So we'd try C. Now I'd have 5 squared plus 12 squared should equal 13 squared. So that's 25 plus 144 should equal 169. And it does. So C is my right triangle. Okay, and that's it for this lesson.